Hi. So, I just want to get into this uh, next generation console argument. To my understanding, uh, the Wii U was supposed to come out before all the other consoles, before the 720 and the PS4, but I'm just going to go ahead and say we can already see that the Wii U is going to be the better console out of all three. Let me explain. Nintendo is known for being innovative. You know, they're basically the first to think of a lot of things. Uh, motion controllers. You know, there was rumors that, you know, Sony said that apparently they were working on them way before, you know, Nintendo started working on them. But we all know that's a lie. We all know that as soon as something new comes out, Sony wants to put their grubby little mints on it and, you know, make it their own thing and just, you know, rename it. Give it some corny name like The Move. Besides the point. The Wii U specs. The Wii U is already, already going to have 1080p graphics off the bat. 1080p graphics. The graphics are supposed to be better than the Xbox 720. Then you get the whole new uh, controller that they're going to have with the, you know, with the screen and touch screen and all that that's new you'll be able to you know go to the bathroom and play at the same time it's awesome how does Nintendo think of these things I don't know I don't know I, I can't explain it the Wii U is gonna be cheaper than both consoles we already know that I'm already estimating that the Wii U is probably gonna be like 300 bucks 250 who knows it's gonna cost the same price as the PS Vita cost right now <laughs> oh Sony I see the future, I see the Wii U winning the whole console thing, you know, and um, I'm very excited for the Wii U, very excited. Let's start the show. So a new Medal of Honor has been announced, I've been talking about Medal of Honor for a, a while now, I remember I mentioned that Medal of Honor 2 was rumored to come out. Now it's been announced. It's called Medal of Honor Warfighter. You know, whatever. And it's gonna have the Frostbite 2.0 engine. It's not being developed by DICE. If you remember the first one, well, the last Medal of Honor that came out, the multiplayer was um, developed by DICE and Danger Close worked on the single player portion of it. Now Danger Close is working on both portions of the game. So, should be interesting to see how they handle multiplayer but um either way um I'm I guess I'm excited the first Medal of Honor was fun for about two weeks um so hopefully this one is fun for at least a month Medal of Honor Warfighter now for some of you who know about Killzone if you still play Killzone 3 you might be very upset at this news the fact that Killzone 3 will be going free to play yes free to play. Guerrilla Games has announced that Killzone 3's multiplayer will be available for free download on the PSN. No confirmed release date yet, but you'll be able to play multiplayer with people who already bought the game, just how DC Universe went. So, for all of you who bought the game, you must be in high disappoint. For some of you who haven't bought it, just, just you can try it out for free now. The way that unlocking maps is going to work, apparently you're going to unlock maps um, varying by how high of level you reach so every I guess every few levels you'll get a map and if you want all the maps earlier you pay 15 bucks so yeah Killzone 3 multiplayer free to download on PSN yeah so there's this Facebook group all gamers are one filled with PS3 enthusiasts I can't lie the group is quite entertaining but the group fails to realize the power behind Nintendo this year. They fail to realize it. So this is me letting the R1 group know that you need to acknowledge Nintendo's power this year. Like I, Nintendo also has risen up in the social ladder. And hopefully one day I will be up with Nintendo in that social ladder. It's a separate social ladder than the one I'm in. So this, this, this is Nintendo's social ladder. I'm on this one. I have to find a way over over there. It's it's gonna happen. Yeah. And I have full respect for the YouTube community, but a lot of you, you know, you get on your cameras and you 
and you dress so sloppy. You dress so sloppy with your with your with your t-shirts and your hats with this with the symbols and, and such and your catchphrases and your curse words and all that. Unpresentable. Unpresentable. We at YouTube, you know, should be like a TV network. We should make ourselves look presentable to the world. All the world. For everyone to see. Thanks for watching.